All right, I'm back and it has been a long time. And to be fair, this video wasn't even planned. It was a bit of a random one. And uh, basically, we've got a new Android radio for the car, a better one, a more new modern version, a lot more updated, basically. And a big shout out to the guys at Accessor Accessorizable. Yeah, big shout out to the guys at Accessorizable UK. I'll throw up their Instagram right now. It'll be on screen. You'll see they do like different kinds of radios, different cars, all that good stuff. Good prices, I'll well, be fair. They're quite cheap. But um, shout out for them guys, to them guys for sending me this. I'll leave links for it down below, obviously, if you guys do want to buy it. Show you guys how to fit it, show you some of the features. It's got CarPlay, it's got all the good stuff in it, obviously. And uh, yeah, we're going to be installing this uh, new radio in the car. Looks newer as well, looks nicer. And uh, yeah, let's get into the install then. Okay, so here's a box. I've already opened it. Um, it didn't come up, obviously, it comes all proper, not some random Chinese dodgy packaging that's legit. You get the adapter, obviously, for your loom. That's the reverse camera port. And then the radio antenna adapter thing. And then the radio itself, let's get this out of here, it's properly packaged, like it will not get damaged in shipping, it's properly legit, I have to do two hands, that's stuck in there, yeah one sec. Okay so there you go, the cables, and then the radio itself, fully wrapped up, no damage will ever get into it if it gets shipped like this, so that's fine. And then, there we go, that's the radio. So it's got like the Mark 7 siding almost, you know, like Polo 6C I think it is. I'll try find the equivalent of VW on for this, it's proper OEM look, but uh, that's the radio. USB port obviously for car playing stuff, normal buttons, and then the back of it is a bit smaller as well, a bit more compact, but more obviously just modern in it obviously. So yeah, this is gonna be going and replacing this unit right here. Yeah, so that's gonna be replacing that unit right there. So yeah, you're gonna take this one out, that's coming out. I don't know if you guys seen the video for this, but we fit this a long time ago, but yeah, this coming out, switching it for the new one, and then plugging the new loom in or whatever. And uh, yeah, let's switch it out then. Okay, so fitting the radio, You've seen the last video probably as well. It's not too hard, it's quite simple. Just uh, grab your little flathead screwdriver, stick it into here. Let's get that done. There. It's going to be slow with these clips because they tend to break a lot. They're known for breaking. Just brittle plastic, but if it, ever, if it ever does break, it's really easy to fix. It's just a simple plastic weld, or you can just buy them. Yeah, every single one of them <laughs> that I fixed came off. I need to redo that. I'll, I'll buy another one of them before the next video, obviously. But uh, yeah, then we gotta get the torque screws out. Torque screws, they are T20s, I think. I think they were. Yep, T20. And there's four screws, one in each corner. Just there, there, and here. Okay, there are the four screws out. Let's get this out. Just lift this up and out. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I've got a lot of wiring back here. Okay, yeah, so I've got the old radio out. Just got to pull out all these cables. Simple as just spinning that one. That pops off. This one, just got to grab the clip and it'll flick out. That's out. I don't know how well you guys can see this stuff. I'm trying to do it so you can see it, but it's a bit awkward without having a camera. <laughs> that just spins out. This antenna. And then this just doesn't want to come out. <laughs> Let's get the easy ones out. Let's get that out. The radio plug thing. Oh, it's just slipping. And there we go. That's out. I don't really, this next one does not have as many cables. The next one has hardly any cables compared to this. Much more easy and simple. And, uh, okay, this big box here, this little adapter, that needs chain taking off. And there we go, that's off. Here's the new one. That just goes on like so. Kicks in and then closed. Easy, as simple as that. And these other cables, these again, they just pop off. So if you had a normal radio, it'd be even easier than this. Yeah, so for the radio cables, it's really simple with this radio. It's like extremely simple. I literally just have this cable, this adapter. This cable will just go into here. Yeah, this cable just sits on that, it clips in. You've seen how this one goes on, simple, just, yeah. Just clips in again. Now this goes on this side here. 
No, wrong way around. Just literally pops on like that. And the uh, other adapter, just again, goes, make sure you line it up with the pins the right way around. There's only one way around to put it. Put that in, like so, clips in, and then just lock the mechanism in. And once, once that's done, that's basically ready. Now it's gonna be pushed back into here, and you've got to keep, you've got to hold Andrew's screen. Oh, it's turned on. It's a bit quick that was. Okay, so once that's done, put the four screws in. Okay, four screws in. Put the fascia back on. Just like. That, and there we go, we've got a full radio. So uh, let's go through the features then. Let's get the car on. Okay, so it's all fitted, you guys saw all that. And uh, here's the actual radio itself. It does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and everything like that. And uh, this is like the stock system on the, the stock software. It's literally just like the VW one. If you know how like Mark 7s are, it's got the same kind of software. So like your radio, obviously, you got all these normal bits. And then you got the app button. This app button goes to CarPlay. So um, yeah, it's got all the normal features. So look, you got radio, FM, AM, obviously. You got all the stations. You can just uh, save them, make presets, whatever. Go into this little setup bit. You got a uh, sound, and then you can actually change. Look, you can do startup volume, speed to minute volume increase. So, like, you know, if you put your foot down, if you're going faster, the faster you're going, the louder it will go. Basically, it works like that. It's um, the, I don't know what they call it in some cars. There's a, I forgot the word for it, but yeah. And then uh, obviously you got balance. You can just move to any speaker you want around the car, and then the bass, treble, everything. You got all the, you got all your sound settings basically. So yeah, that's all good. And then uh, obviously you got. All this normal stuff. I'll show you guys the phone stuff as well. So I've got my iPhone connected right now. You can see it just as an iPhone. If you get any calls, anything, it'll all work and it'll work with the steering wheel buttons. So it'll all work together. And also, if you go into media, I've got a song playing here. Look, you can see the quality is actually really good. So one sec. Quality is really good on these because usually on some aftermarket radios you get some really like the quality drops for some reason I don't know what it is like the quality drops or this and that is weird with this you get full bass full quality everything it sounds all good everything's working perfect with it so yeah but obviously you have all the radio options you have all this but I doubt anyone's really going to be using this everyone's going to be using CarPlay and Android Auto so um, I'll connect my iPhone up get it sorted for CarPlay and show you guys I would show Android Android Auto but I haven't got a phone that can do it so that's the issue but it does have android auto so if you do have an android it is worth getting because you can use that as well it's basically the same as carplay just an android version but yeah but yeah i'll show you guys carplay in a second so one minute okay so we're here we're back with the radio when i got my iphone charge it up a little bit so uh yeah all you gotta do is get your lightning cable plug that in obviously into the car and then the phone will start charging and then look there you go look it doesn't hear carplay it's already done there you go Okay, so this is the CarPlay screen, got my iPhone connected. And uh, look, you can see here, all the works, fast and responsive. Even maps and stuff comes up, let's click on there. You got your maps. You can blur that out, obviously, so you can't see my location. <laughs> and then, uh, look, music, phone, everything. All of that stuff's coming up. So you got a Volkswagen app, so it takes you back to the normal, like, interface. You can go back into CarPlay. Uh, you've got your settings, you've got Waze. Click on Waze, have to blur this again, but look, it works. I'll show you what I can. But yeah, it works. It's gonna take a second to load because it's the first time I'm using CarPlay. So first time, obviously, has to set, set things up. But after that, it'll be all fast again. But it's still responsive. It's just loading up as it is. And then uh, if you go back, you go into music, play a song, go back, carry on doing your thing. See, everything works and that is actually good quality you know that's actually coming out quite good the bass and everything comes out sick but yeah you got everything on here you got siri you got everything all legit that's apple carplay for you all you literally have to do is have an iphone and plug your phone in that's literally it have an iphone plug your phone in you're ready to go click on ways get to the place you're going to that's it and click music get to where you're going to you might have been done that's it so yeah really good really responsive and look it modernizes your car a lot look at the difference that looks like really modern now so yeah but that's all like the software sides. But another thing I want to say is I actually really like this radio because they pay a good attention to detail. Like really good attention to, to detail they have. Because like if you look at these little edges, these silver bits, they match with the rest of the car really well. And the same the colours, 
The red lighting, I don't know if you can tell, the red lighting, one sec. Yeah, if I cover it, obviously at night it'll be much like brighter. But yeah, look, it matches the same as the rest of the car. So it'll look really OEM, really original, won't look proper weird or anything. It actually looks, it sits and fits really nicely. I like the look of it. But uh, yeah, shout out to Accessorizable for uh, this uh, radio. It's really good, man. It's really good. Okay, so that's it then for today. You guys saw the new radio, the RCD360 Pro, I think it was called, a 330 Pro, something like that. I'll put it, I'll put it down below in the description if you want to buy it. Great radio. If you guys are looking to buy an Android radio, I would really suggest this one. I actually recommend it. It's good pricing, and you get a really, really good unit for what it is. Like it's for the price you get it for, and the unit is it's really, really good. And it's got CarPlay, which other ones don't have. It's beating the competitors, so it's actually quite good. But yeah, it's really, really good. I'll leave a link down below for the accessorizable, actually, um, what's it called, website, and obviously the link to buy this specific radio as well. So if you got other cars, they do ones for other cars out there. But um, I'll leave a link down below for the website and for the actual, the actual radio itself, the Golf one. It fits Golfs, Sorocos, Polos, uh, Tiguans. What else is there? Loads of cars. If your radio looked like mine, it'll fit in there basically. If it has that kind of shape, it'll most likely fit. If it's the Mark V and Mark VI Golf, so that kind of generation, if you guys need help with that. But yeah, you still have to fit it. You saw how it is. It's a great radio. And um, yeah, and that's it. It's just a radio updating video. This, this was today. Just sorting out some cosmetic stuff. And I thought they sent it to me. I might as well make a video and show you guys the uh, new product I got. So yeah, you shout out to them guys again. Check them out on Instagram. I'll leave the link down below for the Instagram and for their website. Check them out. If you need any help, obviously, customer service is good. You can just message them. They'll reply to you guys, obviously. 